I'd like to give you a tour of the Georgian era by talking to you about three mirrors in the gallery. The first dates from the first quarter of the 18th century, or the George I period. This marks the end of the Baroque era and is typified by a strength of form. You can see this in the overall structure of this walnut girandole. By the mid-18th century, there was a reaction against the grandeur and symmetry of the Baroque in favour of a freer, more florid style. The term rococo is generally used to describe this movement and is derived from the French words rocaille, meaning stone, and coquille, meaning shells. These natural forms can often be found as motifs and decoration from this period and were taken up through Europe in all forms of interior decoration. This mirror is English and dates from about 1765. Moving on to the end of the 18th century, the Age of Enlightenment, all the arts drew inspiration from ancient Greece and Rome. In furniture design, the architectural discoveries from the classical world inspired a return to symmetry. By the early 19th century, the great houses of Europe were being built or redesigned around these principles. This Regency convex mirror exemplifies this move. It was made in England during the Napoleonic Wars. The carved acanthus scrolls are very Roman, and the mirror plate is framed by a circle of ebonized balls inspired by the cannon fire of early 19th century warfare.